Hello and thank you for clicking on this video. I decided just to do this one on my iPhone. I have been an Apple iPhone user for, I'd say the past seven years. And I was thinking the other day where it all sort of started for me. I purchased my very first phone at the age of 18 when I was doing a weekend job that was part of supporting my university studies. And I purchased a Nokia 8210, I think it was called, which, um, if you know, was almost like a brick. It was quite quite heavy in those days. And I feel really old in saying all this. We didn't have social media back then, so it was very much about text messages and phone calls, of course, and the Snakes game, if you remember that one as well. Now that it's 2017, um, and as I've said, I've been an Apple user for quite a few years now, and I currently have the iPhone 6, um, hoping to upgrade at some stage, but it's kept in um, a blue case like this, which my son has very nicely decorated in Paw Patrol and Peppa Pig stickers. The first app is Facebook, which is very popular, I'm sure, with lots of phones out there. Santander as I bank there and then we've got podcasts I love listening to podcasts and then photos as I take photos like nobody's business <laughs> I, I don't know I think I must have taken at least 15,000 or something at this up to this point iTunes and then deep relax which is a really fabulous app if you fancy having some time out to have a short nap or a longer nap and uh, uses some great sort of relaxation techniques. LinkedIn, iMovie, Touch Note um, for making notes, and Instant Frame as part of the photography that I do and using various editing bits and pieces. Um, and then we've got Moonpig because I do like sending personalized cards. And one of my favorites um, is Instagram. And next to that is Layout, which is connected. And then we've got Tiny Pop TV, which Jay loves using as he loves the channel. And then another one which I recently discovered called Around Me, which is really good for locating various things around you, wherever you are. So especially if you find yourself in an area that you're not familiar with, you can find out where the nearest petrol station is, the nearest pub, you know, the nearest, I don't know, public toilets. <laughs> um, anything that you need so that one's really good to have night sky because I love stuff like stars and planets and <laughs> um I then have food network it's one of my favorite channels so I thought why not have the app um messenger trip advisor and mummy social if you can see that there and Mush, which are great apps for mums to connect with other mums in the local area and make new friends. Sleep Cycle is really good as well, which just gives you a pattern, like a monitors your sleep. And Boohoo, because I love shopping at Boohoo. Next up, we have Good Notes, because again, actually, you know what? I don't think I need Good Notes anymore. I don't use it as often as I used to. Pic Collage, again another photo style editing app. Uh, messages, Twit Traffic is really good if you're traveling on the motorways and just kind of want to get an idea of what's going on and the up-to-date traffic uh, news. Phone First Aid, now this one is a real good one to have, St. John Ambulance First Aid, really great app for, you know, just any emergency style situations iTunes U, I don't really use that, and tips, so I'm not sure about those two. Find iPhone, always good if you misplace your phone like I often do. Um, it's really good at helping you to kind of establish where, it, where it's gone. Uh, Compass, iBooks, Pinterest, Calendar, PayPal I use quite a bit, Plane Finder. This is my geeky app and I'm not ashamed of it. I absolutely love it. it kind of tells you what's happening, you know, which air what aircrafts are flying near you. I mean, these are all obviously going into Heathrow there, look. But it's fascinating. I mean, if I kind of if I kind of zoom in, um zoom out even. Look at that. Look at Europe. All the planes at the moment in Europe. Um and then look, in the States as well, look at that. Good to know, look, you can sort of see 
where all the flights are going and that kind of stuff. Shazam I love if you're ever in a store walking around and you hear music and you want to know what the track is it's absolutely brilliant. I and then I've got the television apps um, all for Uber. So then we have iCloud Drive, very important to back up stuff. NHS 111, very handy as well. Contacts and then another retail fashion app. And smoothies and recipes, Jamie Oliver. We have, we have Headspace, weather, best times, WhatsApp, music, Twitter. Top Cashback, as I shop a lot, BBC iPlayer, Kobo Books, uh, kind of like Kindle. I have the Kobo device and it's also quite handy to read on my phone if ever I don't have the device near me. City Mapper, Pitter Pat, which is lovely for parents if you are looking to buy um, anything child related. Um, my Fitness Pal is something I really have been using, especially as I've been on my you know fitness journey <laughs> so this has been good to just record my meals and find out how I'm doing or how badly I'm doing and um, Airbnb and affirmations because you know I like all that sort of positive stuff and then we've got NHS Give Blood as my blood donor and uh, this one keeps me updated when the next donations are taking place ITV Hub, Voice Memos, Pazzis, another relaxation app, and then I've got Pioneer Woman, who is one of my favourite TV cooks. App Store, Viber, Candle Cake, that's one of Jay's, I have no idea what that one's about. YouTube, obviously, Nectar, TV Guide, Pianos, we like messing around, music stuff. National Trust, we've just become National Trust members, and um, I really hope that we make use of our membership this year. Virtual piano, repost, Instagram related, good. The NASA app, which is absolutely fantastic. Um, you know, if you like all this sort of stuff, obviously. <laughs> but you can keep up to date with what's happening, you know, what they, what's going on, what sort of missions they're working on. Is photo editor, which I use, again, edit photos. Deezer, a music app, which isn't so bad. Not Deezer, which I haven't really been using I have to say it's okay but I don't know if I'll keep that for that long much longer palm reading one that I've I have no idea why I've got that on here um just park and NCP car parking apps because trying to park here in the south is pretty awful we have pomelo which is a really fabulous photo editing app tube deluxe because you know I'm a I was going to say I'm a Londoner. I was technically a Londoner. I still use the tubes from time to time and that's good for updates and things. ITV Essentials, you know, for TV catch up when you want to. Studio for YouTube, which keeps me on track with my YouTube stats, you could call it. So Skyview Free uh, is really nice if you kind of want to have a bit of fun in looking positioning the phone into the night sky and seeing what star constellations are around you which is always quite nice and then my virgin account which is my mobile uh, network train line booking.com these are all the travel things another first aid app this time with the british red cross i really honestly strongly recommend anybody to download some kind of first aid app on their phone WordPress because I blog and uh, I don't actually use my phone to blog and, and write my blog posts on here but sometimes it's just nice to be able to access it if I need to schedule anything. Scannable, a really good app if you want to scan documents, if you haven't got a scanner at home and you can use your iPhone to do that. So uh, that's it. Gosh, it's really sunny. So there you go. That is what's on my iPhone in terms of the apps and yeah if there's any on there that interests you let me know what am i missing out on what apps do you use which are really useful i'd love to know and um thanks for watching this video please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and i'm always would love more subscribers so <laughs> please do subscribe and hopefully i will see you in the next one and before i go i should say i just had an idea for the channel mum ladies Maybe we should have a Channel Mum app. I don't know if there's one in the pipeline, but that's what's missing from my iPhone. <laughs> so uh, yeah, hopefully, maybe one day we will have a Channel Mum app as well available. 
Um, thank you very much for watching and see you in the next one. Bye-bye.